Hello guys, today I am gonna show you stored procedure in SQL Server. Why use how to create practical, how to use complete concept. Definition of stored procedure. First of all, I will elaborate you what is a stored procedure. A stored procedure is a set of SQL statements with an assigned name which are stored in a relational database management system as a group so it can be reused and shared by multiple program. Why use SP? SP means a stored procedure. Why use why you use a stored procedure? There are many reasons to use a stored procedure. Among them, suppose you change a student phone no, phone number, but you keep the previous one as backup. In this condition, you can perform both operation in single SP. You can also apply many condition and parameter in one SP. How to create stored procedure practical in video. First of all, uh, I will create a backup table. A uh, backup table where stored the phone number. New table. ID. Integer. ID. Yeah, this is the uh, uh, student ID. I will uh, pick up from a student table here. phone number uh, and barker and bar character change date date time time <coughs> sl this is normally sl for uh, for having primary key okay it's done i will named uh, the table name phone backup phone backup step okay then uh, the table is already uh, created uh, as named uh, phone backup step now i'll uh, sl sl i will make it uh, identity if i make it identity then no need to insert any uh, any any number or anything in this cell that's why I, uh, I make it identity okay identity yes now I'm gonna show you how to create stored procedure and uh, change the student uh, uh, student phone number I just uh, change I will change the student phone number it automatically stored the previous phone number uh, suppose the, there is three student I will change the phone number and the previous phone number will be stored in phone backup tape and new phone number uh, will, new phone number will uh, will be display here I mean change the update update according to the ID student ID now I'm gonna show you how to create a stored procedure and far from the this operation uh, right click on the stored procedure folder and click on the add new stored procedure uh, here is some uh, uh, format displaying okay i will uh, i will not apply i will apply my format this is the stored procedure i already created if i write it uh, then it will take much time that's why i just uh, i just preferred it before see that first of all uh, i this is the uh, stored procedure okay. just create uh, this is a, a new create force uh, this is stored procedure name USP update student phone number this is parameter ID which I uh, which identify which student I want to change the phone number this is phone number what I change uh, this is the condition uh, create force then parameter then s then begin see that then begin as begin then int int your operation what you want to far from can be written here 
you know uh, this is so uh, it can uh, you can use select a statement insert a statement update a statement delete a statement anything you can uh, you can write it here according to the parameter if you don't use uh, want to uh, uh, parameter then without parameter you can perform the operation now i just copied the full code and uh, copy then paste now i elaborate what i am copied first of all i declare a free phone free phone free phone means previous phone number I, this this is the uh, enverker enver character variable i will take the phone number in variable according to the student id first of all i declare a free phone uh, free phone then then uh, this is the select statement follow that select previous phone equal to phone from a student table this is the student table see that a student table a student table a student uh, this is a student table has three id three name and three phone number which which id which uh, which guys phone number i wanna change i will uh, assign his id here then his uh, phone number will change phone number equal to previous phone number in this variable i took the previous phone number after that i update I, this is the update statement update student table set phone number equal to phone number phone number equal to phone number the phone number is which i will put which i will put in store procedure this is the phone number what uh, after execution you can uh, easily understand what uh, what is this phone number and what is this previous phone number okay okay then uh, after change uh, first of all i took the previous phone number then uh, then i update the new phone number and previous phone number i will store according to id previous phone number i uh, i stored in phone backup tab what we what we create first phone backup tab see that now the phone backup tab is already blank there is no data in phone backup tab insert into phone backup tab values value id which id is phone number i change and for previous phone number previous phone number means the student table in the student table what phone number will uh, or exist first the previous phone number and date get date get date means when you execute this store procedure your computer has the date time you know date time a, 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 this date time will stored this uh, date time will insert in the phone backup tab this is it calls get date now i just save it save this is saved see that now stored procedure already added stored procedure added now i am gonna execute it to execute from visual studio integrated system uh, click on the data click on data uh, transact sql editor click new, new query sql express my data the server name is sql express connect i just connect it okay then select database name my first test db i just select now i will execute it the procedure creation is uh, uh, already done you can see the stu procedure is already created now i just uh, i just close it and uh, i am going to execute it see that now this is uh, how to create uh, how to use sp stored procedure this is the execution execution system of a store procedure exec first of all select uh, write on exec then dbo dbo schema name dbo you must use dbo at execution without dbo only a store procedure name will not enough to execute if you if i delete dbo then see that uh, again USB. Uh, if you use DBU, then it will be uh, it will okay. Exact USB update student info phone. Uh, uh, this is the uh, store procedure name, and two two is ID, and this is the phone number. See that parameter. 
now that is id this is id and phone number this phone number what you change see that uh, this is the student uh, select a star from a student table this is the uh, select a statement of a student table all record will display after execution student room my first uh, db see that the two id have 0585 i will change it uh, 0585 big character now see that select star from phone backup table in the phone backup table what exists there is not uh, no data in the select uh, in the phone backup tab now i will execute it see that exec usb update student phone number phone number id2 in this id in this id id2 student id2 uh, raihan's uh, raihan's phone number now 0585 it will stored in phone backup table it will stored in phone backup table and the five uh, two ids 0585 0585 will change and replace with 0585 see follow the exact two rows effect now i'll execute two statement at a time see that I just execute this stored procedure that phone number is changed phone number is changed replaced and the previous phone number 0585 stored here the ID is 2 the ID is 2 and when this is changed 5th uh, November 2017 and time also displayed here uh, in this way you can uh, you can create a store procedure use a store procedure uh, you can also use a store procedure in report um, and view uh, any anywhere you can use a store procedure uh, uh, this is most important for sql sql server user and programmer uh, uh, thank you uh, i think you will get m many more help if you face any problem to, to understand or uh, uh, to learn any to want to learn uh, anything else about the store procedure just comment my video thanks to see this video if you think is helpful please subscribe